in this video we will talk about angular hooks angular hooks are also known as the life cycle of a component when we create a new component in the angular application by default we get this kind of a structure here we have a class and this class is implementing this interface we also have a constructor and we are also implementing this method ng on init here in this video we will talk about this method ng on init and there are a couple of more methods that are available just like this ng on init method and the combination of all these methods is known as the component life cycle let's understand what is this ng on init this ng on init is coming from this on init interface if i go to the definition of on init you will see this is an interface and our component is implementing it this interface has this particular method it is not expecting any kind of parameter and the return type is void in any angular application we generally have couple of components and couple of modules and we render all of them on a browser but by default if you will think that all of them will get rendered on the browser this doesn't happen when the angular application starts rendering on the browser then in the dom element it only uses those components which are required angular application does not use all the components at once it means if in our angular application we are having multiple modules multiple components just like we have in our bookstore application and if i am running that application in my browser this doesn't mean that all the components will get rendered on the browser at once no the angular application is very smart it will render only the required components or modules in the dom whenever angular needs to use a new component it creates the new instance of that component and start using it in the dom without creating the instance of a particular component angular cannot use it how can we identify whether angular is creating a new instance whenever we are using the selector of a particular component in a page and that page is getting rendered on the browser at that time angular application creates the instance of that new component and it works with that there are couple of more ways to use a component that we will learn in upcoming videos but as of now just for the concept whenever we are using a selector in a particular page and that page is getting rendered on the browser basically in the dom at that time only the angular will create the instance of that child component once the use of that particular page is done it means we are navigating to some other place using a route at that time there is no use of the previous space and the angular destroy the instance of that particular component in that single page there can be multiple components so angular will create the instances of all those components and once the use will be done then the application will destroy the instances during this entire process which process starting from creating a new instance of a component to the destroying the instance of that component there are several stages and the combination of all these stages is called as the component life cycle or angular hooks and we can represent these stages by using some methods now let's understand what all methods are available in the component life cycle here is a list of all the methods first is ng on changes then we have ng on init ng do check as of now you are only familiar with this ng on init because this is the only method that we are using in some of the components along with this ng on init there are couple of more methods at the last you will see we are having this ng on destroy it means at the time of this on destroy angular destroy the instance of this component so we have to understand the purpose of all these methods one by one each hook has an interface the hook name is the method name that we were talking in the previous slide so each method name or the hook has an interface and in order to use a hook or the method in component we need to implement the corresponding interface just like we have seen in the default structure of a component file there is a new ng on init method and that component is implementing on init interface so basically if we need to identify the interface name then you can simply remove the ng from the method name for example if we talk about ng on init then if i remove this ng from this method name 
we only got on in it and this is the name of the interface similarly if i talk about ng on destroy or ng on changes and to find the corresponding interface i can remove the ng it means for ng on changes method the corresponding interface is on changes also for ng on destroy the corresponding interface is on destroy now let's understand all these methods one by one